Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Um, I thought I was farther along in this game than I was. It uh, turns out I'm, I'm still only about halfway through part three, and we have an entire part four to do. So we're just going to keep going. And we're on chapter eight to Incandescent Glow. I believe last time we went to the, the, the dragon people, and they immediately sent us away. So now we have to go back through the dangerous cave to go home. Not ideal, but hey, uh, I'd rather do that than fight dragons who can definitely kill us. So I'll take what I can get, to be honest. Lower, the land of dragons lies secluded in the southwestern corner of Tellius. No foreigner, Laguz or Bjork, is permitted within its borders. The Alliance emerges from the lava tubes and into Goldoa by accident. The dragon king, Degincia. Degincia, okay. Well, now I know how to pronounce it. Degincia. Hmm. Former companions Nasir and Ina appealed to Degincia to allow the passage of the Laguz Alliance. Raisin's actions during the last war earned them the grudging respect of King Degincia, who allows them safe passage. Well, how lovely. Meanwhile, Benyon calls off its pursuit of the Alliance and finds its passage into Gallia blocked by the nation's great mountains and deep forests. Good. I'm glad they can't get through. I don't want them invading my big old cat island. against solid rock. Senator Valtone arrives to take command of the Central Army. He orders Zelgius to march on to Gallia by way of Crimea. Observing diplomatic protocol, Valtone petitions the Queen for passage, as well as supplies and additional hmm. troops. Queen Alincia, however, goes against the wishes of the Crimean nobles and resolutely denies each of Valtone's Good. Requests. I'm glad we have at least somebody on our side. Valtone, who sees Crimea as little more than a vassal of the Empire. Ignoring Zelgius's counsel, Valtone orders his army to enter Crimea and take whatever they need That's, from uh, the villages mm -hmm. along the way. Wow, great. I, I, this man, what a, what a great, fantastic man. Uh, are we back over at Alencia's group? Chapter 9, Marauders. Right, we, we went through the Iridescent Cave already. Castle Crimea. Your Majesty, the Mignon army has crossed the border. They are seizing food and supplies and calling a tribute to the Empire. There are no casualties yet, but they are acting like bandits. I see, so they simply ignored me. What shall I tell the troops, Your Majesty? Order the Royal Knights to mobilize, ride out, and advise Bignon to withdraw. If they do not comply, I prove the use of the for of force to remove them from our lands. But, Your Majesty, this is the Bignon army we're talking about. It would be unwise to provoke them. I had hoped to avoid this situation, but the Empire's attempts to strong-arm our people should not go unanswered. Deploying the Royal Knights is the only way to protect our borders from incursion. However, I remain open to suggestions. Do you have an alternate plan of action, Lord Saren? Uh, no. Uh, please forgive my impertinence. Uh, your Majesty is quite right. I am glad we are in agreement, Lord Saren. This whole situation disturbs me greatly. I wonder, what is happening to the Empire? I doubt that the Apostle would allow this sort of thing to happen. We should prepare for the worse. I fear something horrible might be happening within Benyon. It sounds like they're getting ready to overthrow the Empress, which is... Not good for us, because she's our friend, and, like, the only thing preventing the entirety of Bignon from just sending everyone across our borders. Okay, with an arm scroll, you are you are not getting that, my friend. I don't know. I don't know why you have it, but it is not for you. Uh, we got a Wo Dao. Uh, who's got swords? Who's got swords? Not Astrid, not Kirin. Does no one have swords? Nobody has swords. Okay. Well... <laughs> Makalov has swords. Do you want a Wodao? Alright, I'm honestly surprised you can use it. Uh, Khalil, Marcia... Guess we got a... Got a... Got another... Another thing for Makalov, who I really don't like and nor do I want to use. Uh, you're fine for durability. You're good. You are good. Oh, sorry. I just bashed my knee into the bottom of my desk. That couldn't have sounded good. Another arm scroll. I don't want to use it yet. I'm going to save as much stuff for part four as I can. We got Danved. All good. And the Makalov. More stuff than you could ever use because I don't like you. 
We're all good there, and we got a bunch of stuff, and I would also like to check out my skills and XP. What kind of skills we got? We got Nullify. Uh, cancels the enemy bonuses. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna want some that on somebody who is attacked very often, and I don't remember what anyone on this team does, so I'm gonna wait for now. Bonus EXP. We've got quite a bit. Um... I feel like... Kieran and Joffrey are probably going to benefit the most from um, from this. Well, he's just going to uh, class up, so I will take that. Level 19, level uh, 20, and then a class up, I believe. There we go, class change. You were a Lance Paladin. What are you becoming now? A uh, Silver Knight. Ooh, some nice bonuses there. I'll take it, we got a, an advanced class and you're good there for now. I, Considering everyone is a little bit weaker on this team, I'm assuming the enemies are gonna be weaker as well. Let's see here, we get you to level 16. Um, I feel like just anyone below level 10 should be level 10. It's not going to be great, though, because we can't get anybody up to level 10 without using, like, all of our experience. We'll dump it into Astrid, because we're going to need at least one bow user, and she is our only one, and she's very, very weak. All right, time to, time to sit through all of the level ups, then. Uh-huh. And level 6. Uh-huh. Okay, keep keeping it going. All right, uh, perfect, cool. What do we got here? Villagers, I, I I, keep forgetting what the stars do for us. Hey, did you hear? The Imperial Army is requesting Crimea's assistance. Yeah, I heard. I also heard that the messenger treated our queen with no respect at all. Who do they think they are? Shh, not so loud. Benyon is ruled by the Apostle. They helped us when Dane invaded. It's only right that we pay back the favor by coming to their aid. Bignon is fighting the Beast Tribes of Gallia. Why would we fight Gallia? Though Beast Tribes helped us rebuild Crimea. Uh, that's true, but come on, think about it. Uh, who would you rather side with? A land of Bjork or a land of sub... Uh, uh, Laguz? The answer is plain as day. We side with the Bjork. Uh, you have a point. I, I choose Gallia over Bignon. Really? But But why? The people of Gallia helped us rebuild the village, even though we're Bjork. They even repaired the road to the farm that's up on the mountain. And that wasn't an easy job, either. Yes, I remember. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Mordecai? Uh, he was strong, yet very kind. He looked fine enough at first, but the children in the village loved to play with him. He was a wondrous man. If the queen decides to answer Benyon's request for troops, we'd have to fight Gallia. And how terrible would that be? That's war, isn't it? Yes, I suppose it is, at that. Hmm. I wish we didn't have to fight anyone at all. Yeah, that's not, that's not exactly how things work, unfortunately. Khalil's shop, what do you got for me? You're one of my party members. Just give me stuff for free. What are you doing charging me? Uh, it's been one thing after another. First the civil unrest, then the imperial invasion. I'm so sick of hearing about it all. You and me both. I figured I'd be able to get in some me time now that Crimea is peaceful again. Get a card game started or something. Hey, you're a royal knight. If the queen decides you should go sweep away ten or a hundred imperial soldiers, you should probably go do it. Yeah, we've been working order to more. We've been ordered to mobilize, but I can't think of any excuse to get out of it. Maybe I could pretend to be dead. Any ideas, Amy? Don't make General Joffrey... Oh, I don't have a little girl voice. Don't make General Joffrey mad. You're a royal knight. You better follow his orders. That's all I got. Amy, you're supposed to help me. She's obviously been spending way too much time with you, Khalil. Well, of course you twit. All right, Makalov. It's time for you to pay up and go. Uh, what? But no, I think my stomach's acting funny. That's enough, you lay about. Oh, hi, Mercia. Uh, don't surprise me like that. Makalov, you knew I'd find you here, slacker. You're making the whole squad wait for you. Hurry up and head back. 
Mm, I didn't know about all this. Uh, fighting the Imperial Army means fighting my old comrades. I don't want to fight my old friends, you know what I mean? Mm, I think I see. You owe the money, don't you? Isn't that the real reason why you don't want to see them cheese breath? Uh, when did you learn to read minds like the herons? I can't, you spineless sea cucumber. It's just so typical of you that I guessed. Marcia, please. That's quite enough. Don't defend him, Astrid. He's such hes such a terrible guy. Ay, ay, ay. But Astrid, it's despicable. Look how calm Sir Makalov is. He never gets irritated or upset. It's the mark of a true knight. A good knight must know how to keep his cool on the battlefield. Um, but we're in a bar. Oh. I hope to be as good a knight as Sir Makalov someday. How I dream of that day. Huh. I don't believe this. You don't want to end up like me, baby. Oh, I completely agree. Who would want to end up a clown-haired chowder head? The love you two have for each other is so wonderful. I wish I had a sibling. Uh, sure. I'll sell him to you. Cheap. Oh, Astrid, why? Why? Oh, you deserve so much better. <laughs> Joffrey, please take this with you. Why, this is a master crown. I'm honored, your majesty. I will cherish it. I've been asking you to fight difficult battles against terrible odds. Your majesty, allow me to reiterate. That is exactly what I wish. No matter the task, and no matter the odds, I can only succeed at it so long as you depend on me. I am yours entirely, your majesty. I shall take those words to heart, Joffrey of Dabre. You are truly my finest and most faithful knight. Thank you, your majesty. You got a master crown. Not sure what that does. I'll figure it out eventually. Here are the war funds. Remember, Joffrey, you will face the Imperial Army. Should there be a conflict, you must not be caught unprepared. I shall be prepared, Lucia. Cool. I'll take 10,000 gold. I don't think there's really much that we have to buy. I mean, I'll take a look, but, uh... I think we're, we're pretty much set. I don't think anyone can, um... Like, use any of the advanced stuff. We also have a lot of stuff in the, um, the convoy, so I can take a look at what's in there. We've got, uh, steel sword, steel lance, steel axe, hand axe, steel bow... Yeah, really nothing of, of note here. Alright. I think we are all good to move on. No one else has anything to say? Marauders, let's go. Are you layabouts done collecting supplies? We don't have all day. No, sir. Progress is slow. Uh, these people just don't have much. Something about an uprising earlier. Fools, I don't want excuses. Take anything you see, and if these bumpkins complain at all, cut them down. Because you can bet your armor that Senator Valtome will do the same to us if we're not done by the time he arrives. Why is everybody in the Benyon army a bad person? Like, for, for somebody whose ruler is our friend, like a close personal friend, you'd think that they would employ better people in their army. But no, they're, they all just want to kill everybody. It's very inefficient. Reporting, sir. A Crimean army is approaching from the southwest. It seems to be the Royal Knights. Uh, what? Crimea is moving against us? Those backwater fools. All right, keep working. I'll take several men out to slow their approach. Colonial fools. I'll teach them what it means to defile my empire. Okay, you got green hair. I don't, I don't care what you have to say. General Joffrey, we've confirmed the preven- The prevents? We've confirmed the prevents of the Benyon army in the village ahead of us. I would prefer to avoid a fight, but I suppose that decision is up to them. Let's hurry. Okay, I like- I like uh, the chapters where we have friends. That's nice. I'm not happy about our terrible selection of units, though. This is like- This is like the E team. This is like the bottom of the barrel of units in this game. The only exceptions are, like, Joffrey and Kieran. I guess Danved is okay, but uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't think there's going to be any named units here. Recruitment really hasn't been a thing in this game. If we get a unit, it's at the end of a chapter. I don't think there's really been anyone we've had to talk to outside of, like, a handful of people. 
All right, we got Rourke, and, uh, and that's about it. Let's make a save here. And let's get into it. All right, we got swords and lances right away. As well as people who can come in from up here. All right, so it should be uh, mounted units this way, infantry units the other way. There we go, block you off, and then we'll start to send you guys in. Don't think Kieran can reach you. No, he can't. All right, that's fine. I also didn't check to see what that uh, Master Crown does. An item that allows promoted units of level 10 or higher to... Okay. So basically, it bypasses the level 20 limit. Um, I really don't want to use that. If I do, it puts me at a dis very distinct disadvantage, as my stats will not be as high as they could be otherwise. Uh, 29. It's got plenty of durability. Might as well take him out in one hit, save me the trouble. We don't have any healers on this team either, which isn't good. Um, but we do have a friend healer, so should we should be fine. Got to be careful of you. Can't come down quite yet, or you can, and it's not showing me. Either way, uh, Khalil is staying a little farther away. Same with Astrid, and then Marcia can pretty much go anywhere, but she doesn't have the stats to take a whole bunch of attacks. So, uh, well, maybe she does, honestly. These guys don't seem very strong. Level 18. Basic classes. Against a level 6 second stage class? Well, either way, I'll keep her back from, uh, for now. These guys will be useful as long as they don't get in my way. Crimean soldiers, how dare you turn your weapons against us? You will pay for this betrayal. Men, burn these shanties to the ground. Show these fools what we do to traitors. Uh, please don't burn. I get... Oh, okay. All right. I think I get items if I go and visit them. Not those ones, obviously, but the other ones. Sometimes I wonder with uh, with like forced story things like that. I'll, I'll well I'll explain it in a second. Monsters, and they're setting the village on fire. Knights evacuate the villagers and put the, out the fires immediately. Uh, cause they're like you could like cheat in this game. I mean you could cheat in every game, but uh, you could turn on like infinite movement and just have your units move all the way across the board. So I wonder what would happen if you like turned on that, and then moved them to those buildings turn one, and, like, talked to the people inside. I, I would assume either there wouldn't be an option, because they just wouldn't put that tile on the doors, or, um, it would, like, crash the game. I don't know which one. I would have to test that to see, and I don't really want to test that to crash the game, to be honest. I would rather it just work perfectly fine and not have to worry about it crashing. 27 times 2... Uh, we can just go with Steel Lance for now. You're not going to get a lot of experience, which is fine, because you're also not going to take a lot of damage either. Um... Kieran could benefit from being a little bit of a higher level, but uh, it's fine. Level 12, a little bit of strength. There we go, thank you. Uh, we can continue to block off. Uh, I guess I'll give Makalov the experience. I mean, I'd rather not, but I mean, he'll, he'll kill, so I might as well. Do you have a longbow or a regular bow? You got a regular bow, okay. And we'll just move everyone out of harm's way. And then, I think... Marcia's gonna have to stick around for another turn, because she's not really gonna be able to do much right now. She does have a javelin. Alright, that's fine. Uh, for anybody curious, I have been playing more uh, Fire Emblem Three Hopes, and uh, I'm liking it a lot so far. I'm almost finished with the Golden Deer Path, 
Uh, I've learned that there is a fourth secret path. And I was a little bit confused as to where the story was going to go, but I think they really pulled it back. Um, wow, okay, they are, they are destroying everything. I'm, I'm so glad. Uh, I'm very curious as to what the other stories are going to be, because the Golden Deer one, it's like, you, you're kind of at whim of what the other, like, countries are doing. Like, if the Empire or the Kingdom make a move, then you're kind of just following along with that. But I'm wondering if, with, like, if you pick the, the Black Eagles or the Blue Lions, if you're at, like, the forefront deciding what happens in this story. I would assume so, because it's kind of how it was like in Three Houses. Um, so I'm curious as to whether we have any influence over the stuff that happens, or if it's going to be a similar story, just from other perspectives. I don't know. Uh, it's going to take me a while to find out, because I'll probably finish with Golden Deer, get, like, a quarter of the way through another path, and then Xenoblade 3 is going to come out, so I'm not going to be finishing it for a while. It's definitely a game, though, where I'm probably going to play through every path and then Golden Deer again on New Game Plus, because that's what I did for Three Hopes, uh, Three Houses. I played through every path once, and then my first path twice, which was Black Eagles. Marcia, you're not great, but you're you're alive, so uh, I'll, I'll take it. It's more than I can say about a lot of our other units. Uh, Steel Sword. Okay, you're good. It'll only be an Axe unit if I put you here. Uh, I guess we'll equip the Wodao. It's got a high crit chance. I don't think Makalov does in general, but the weapon does. You got a bow. What are you going to do to me? Too much damage for me to be comfortable with. Same thing with you. Okay, well, Cecile and Astrid are a little bit useless for now. As long as these guys don't move up. Please move down one space. Please move down one. Assholes. All of you. All of you. You're so mean. I It worked out fine, but that was such a dick move. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a timeline where Astrid and Cecile are both dead. Or Khalil are both dead. Uh-oh. Don't like that. Uh, but we can aggress up here now, which is perfect. Nice, get the crit. And... Decent level up, not bad, but could be better. Uh, I'm gonna continue to keep Marcia out of danger. That is not the way to do it. <laughs> okay, those two over there have lances, so Kieran's gonna go up. And even if he doesn't take them out in one turn, he will be able to kill them eventually. Never mind, he can take them out in one turn. 19 times 2, 38, that'll kill. Uh, 20, okay, that'll also kill. Nice. You should have no choice but to attack me. We've got the bow user down here. I'll probably just have Joffrey take him out. That way I know he's gone. Let's see if uh, Makalov can actually take out this fellow or not. I honestly don't expect him to. And yeah, no. He, he most certainly cannot. Okay, well, cool. Great. So glad I have you on my team. Uh, Marcia needs to move. There we go. It's damage. Dev Dan will be fine. Or, not Dev Dan. Is it, which one is it? Is it... Okay, it's Dan Ved. Uh, these guys aren't that big of an issue yet. But I will have to move somebody down. Probably just Joffrey. You will be deceased shortly. Perfect. Uh, 
There's uh, quite a bit of fires up there. Should probably handle those whenever I can. Oh, you healing nerd. <laughs> I like those chickens down there. <laughs> Look at them. Just bocking around. Low poly birds are a favorite type of animal of mine. Low poly most things are very adorable. But I feel like birds especially just hit a right spot. Ooh. I'm not a fan of that. Okay. Well, half of my units are almost dead and, and the other half suck. So, let's see what we can do here. Should probably send in Kieran and have him be the main initiator of attacks. Speedwing? Cool. Uh, I'll bring Danved back and have him heal himself up. That's not good at all. Actually, I'm gonna bring Kieran back. It's not gonna be enough to reach it. We'll see. And the Marcia, you're, this is death, right? Uh, it's not death, but it it'll be death next turn if I do that. I guess I can do this. It's not pretty, but it'll work. Yeah, they can't. I can't tell if they can come up here or not. They cannot. Okay. Well, you two need to go somewhere a lot safer than right here. I'm gonna rescue you, and we're we're just gonna uh hit the hit the uh we're gonna move over here, I guess. You'll be attacked, but you should be fine. Kieran's also there if we need him to uh to engage. Probably should have healed him up, but it's fine. And the Mercia will be fine there. Can't really do much with her. Okay, good. These guys are going to help us out. Or they're gonna miss. A little bit of both. Thank you. Okay, well, that's the last building engulfed in flames. Oh, our healer is dead! Uh-oh! <laughs> Why did you move there, my friend? Why would you do that? That was a terrible idea. I feel like you're also going to be dead very soon. Joffrey will be fine. Not worried about him. Strid, you, you, can, you can live this, right? All right, just barely. Oh my god. Don't like, don't like what? Whoa, he die right. I really don't like what's happening over here. Uh, uh no. Oh, building destroyed. I, I guess I could have had Marcia go up and fix that, but she would have probably just gotten killed next turn. All right, we're going here. They're blocked off. Kieran's fine for now. These two can't reach, so Astrid can now come in and over. And can heal herself up. It is... It is thundering outside. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> well, we're blocked in here. Great. Love that for me. Um... Which one of you can I take out nicely? You're an issue. I don't like you. Ow. And let's block you off so you can't go anywhere. Uh, 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 it's got a javelin too. It's not great. I don't like being locked in here. Got no option but to wait. So Marcia's gonna go... To 
double check to make sure we can't get hit by this guy. Okay, we can. Mercy is gonna stay right there for now. Great. I love that. Oh my god. My guy. Move out of the way. No. Oh. Great. All of these buildings are going to burn. Mm, I don't like that you're not dead. Okay, that's that guy done. I'm, I'm gonna have to use Joffrey's turn to order those guys to go somewhere else. Because if they stick around there, uh, they're just going to keep missing and I'm gonna be like stuck there forever. Oh. Okay, well, let's first check to see. Could I kill this man? I could. Probably not going to hit. Uh, no, that'll kill. That's 26, that's, uh, that's 52. That'll kill easily. Okay, let's check something. I'm going to direct them to target this guy. And I'm going to attack with the Brave Lance this guy. Mm, don't like that I was hit. But I'm going to now come back into here. Here and take out this guy. There is, in fact, a method to my madness. Okay, not a great level up, but that, that's fine, I guess. And then have Astrid finish him off. Perfect. There we go, that's that side of the board cleared. Move. Keep Makalov there so they can't come up. Uh, Danved, I guess we'll move over here because those guys are going to be there for a little bit. Ooh, that might have been a mistake, actually. That was a mistake. No, we're fine. Okay. Whew. I was worried he was going to go for Astrid, because he definitely could have hit them. All right, that guy's dead. Yep, I don't think we're going to be getting anything for keeping the buildings up. Now, we can get through, and we're going to um, direct them to Rome. We're going to heal up. We're going to wait here. There we go. Danved is going to follow. Kieran's just going to stay over here to get these guys off. And then... Marcia and Astrid, because you kind of suck, you're just staying wherever I need you. And hopefully these two guys can take out that one, but I don't think they can. Alright, well if you don't attack him, you definitely won't be able to. It is really thundering. If, uh, if my stream goes down, uh, that means that my power is out. Bye-bye? Okay, our friends are dying. Get a crit? Nope. Okay. A man can dream. I think I'm going to move Kieran to that bush. That way he'll heal and uh, he'll have an avoidance buff. 
Yeah, well, I definitely want to do that now. There we go. Alright, let's start picking you guys off, because you're now a nuisance. I probably could just make a rush for the boss, but I am getting experience, and God knows these guys can use it. Alright, I'm going to use this opportunity to heal and just keep the side of the map blocked off. Uh, they're probably all going to go for this guy. I think one of them will go for Makalov, and they can't reach Astrid or Marcia, so that's okay. And none of you guys can reach either. Just double checking to make sure. Okay. Let's keep it running like this. Hopefully they'll be distracted by that guy. Nice, that bush bonus coming in handy. I think we'll be alright, but Joffrey's gonna get the majority of the experience here. Just everyone else is too weak to really make a dent in these guys. Alright, we're clearing out this center area, and then Joffrey's going straight up to the top, because I don't think they're gonna be able to do much to him. Very close to a level up, unfortunately close. Okay. Here at this area, Steel Lance, let's go for it. Nice. I mean, you didn't have any health to heal, but it's cool that you got it off. Uh, do I want to go this turn or next? I think I want I think I'm gonna have to go this turn. I'm gonna have to rely on a crit here too. Because either he's going to be left with 1 HP for sure, or he might be dead and left with 3. Ah, yeah, he's left with 3. Okay, then is going to go here, because I think... Yeah, she'll be able to withstand this. Even two hits of this. Not that she'll have to. This place is completely blocked off anyways. Astrid can come and finish this one off. You have a javelin, don't you? You do? Okay. Noted. Makalov, stay there. This guy will assist us with this one, and then that's the bottom clear other than this guy. Okay. At least Makalov is somehow not entirely useless. He's kept those guys very busy. I think most of these guys are dead here. Nice, and he'll get health after this turn as well. That's okay. Could use some defense. Ooh, I'm going after Makalov finally. You're gone, and I think the two other Lance users are gone. Axe user might be alive, and Joffrey might be uh, in a little bit of a need of healing, but that's okay. We've got some concoctions. Okay, nice. Perfect. Never mind, don't need to heal at all. Okay, I think we're good to just finish it off now. I can try to take out this one down here. Shouldn't be too hard. Uh, I kind of want Marcia to get the final hit, so let's see what DevDan can do. Sorry, Danved. Every time.
And Marcia should be able to finish him off. Per maybe perfect. There we go, perfect. And might as well just go and finish it. No need to dilly dally here. Uh, okay. Well, we can't we can't quite finish it yet. All right. Well, uh, I think the brave lance is the most damage, but it's also kind of a waste of durability. All right, he's not gonna hit us, so we'll just let him attack first, and we'll take out this guy first. Uh, steel lance on you. That'll kill, and we'll be fine. Everyone else can just chill. Nothing else for you to do. I am Joffrey, the commander of the Crimean Royal Knights. Do you command these men? Knight of Crimea, you are clearly guilty of treason against the Benyon Empire. Do you understand what it means to send an army against us? You've just killed your people. You've been warned. Queen Alencia will not accept any further acts of violence or banditry within our borders. But draw your troops immediately, or I cannot guarantee your safe return. Decide quickly. How dare you take that tone with me! I'll put you in your place! I think you're gonna be put in the ground. Next turn. You, you die one turn from now. Uh, that's an okay level up. Again, I, I, I always would like to take defense, but we're not getting it. Uh, 16 times 2 is 32. That'll kill. Will anything else kill? 20. 32. 16. 23. I have enough weapons. My god. Alright, Brave Lance it is. There we go. The Empire will not forget this. Once our main forces arrive, they will slaughter you like cattle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Take it up with my boss. Oh, wait. That's literally the Queen. No strength or defense? Uh, getting res, at least. Uh, wow. Uh, look, cow. Good. The enemy's retreating. Knights, stay here and help to fix damages done to this village. Good work, Joffrey. You sent them running. Lucia, what are you doing here? I'm here to protect your majesty. Superb work, Joffrey. You have my thanks. Your Majesty, forgive me. I cannot avoid a confrontation with the Imperial Army. It wasn't your fault, Geoffrey. However, I'm afraid our situation continues to deteriorate. Lucia, I appoint you as envoy to negotiate a treaty with the commander of the Imperial Army. They might be willing to listen now. I shall leave immediately, Your Majesty. Diplomacy. Usually doesn't work in these situations, but we'll see. Days later. Senator Valtome, I sincerely regret having to meet under these circumstances. Oh, I completely agree, Your Majesty. I never dreamed we'd suffer so much mistreatment from our allies. So, you've decided that Crimea will side with Gallia and honor the alliance with those filthy subhumans over ours? As I've said before, Crimea remains neutral. Crimea will side with neither ben with Benyon nor the Laguz alliance. That is my final answer. Ah, then please enlighten me. Why prevent us from getting what we needed? Benyon is your... Su suzerain? You should be delighted to comply with our request for supplies. But instead, you launch an ambush and inflict horrible pain on us, your loving guardians. Now, Benyon is, patient, is a patient parent, but I do hope you realize that your actions thus far have amounted to treason and sedition. You have violated our borders, stolen from my people, and inflicted harm upon them. I will not allow such actions within my lands, no matter how, uh, no matter who the aggressor may be. How quaint! <laughs> Your Majesty, do you know what the penalties are for the crimes you've committed? I can only assume you do not, or you would not be so, ra or you would not so rashly endanger your life. But don't worry, Queen Alencia. Once Benyon has your crown, along with your head removed for treason, I'm sure we will take very good care of your people, Senator Voltome. 
I think after the dust has settled, I'll place my portrait right over your throne. <laughs> it was a pleasure chatting with your majesty. I am leaving now. She's all yours, general. Your majesty, please forgive my superior officer's insolence. Wait, I recognize you. You came to our aid some time ago, during the Mad King's War. General Zelgis, was it? Yes, your majesty. This is the second time I've had the honor of seeing you. I sincerely apologize for my army's actions during the resupply operation. Please forgive us. The Banyan Empire and the Apostle gave us much support in our reconstruction effort. Crimea will always appreciate Banyan's generosity. However, Crimea and Gallia are allies. As such, we cannot take a side in this quarrel. Please understand. I understand, Your Majesty. Our forces will refrain from levying supplies while in Crimea. Oh, thank you for your understanding. However, I must ask you to agree on these two points. First, the Imperial Army shall be given leave to pass through Crimea towards Gallia. Second, we shall be allowed to engage the Gallian army in towns near the Crimea-Gallia border. Excuse me? This peace talk is meaningless. You will, still do bat you will still do battle and spill blood within our borders. I'm afraid that is the best I can offer. It's sometimes necessary to cut your losses for the greater good. Please think on it. Tomorrow, my army will begin marching towards Gallia. If the Crimean army does not interfere, I will take it as a sign of agreement. Farewell, Your Majesty. General Zelgis, please wait. Does the Apostle know anything about this war with the Lagoos? It's very hard for me to believe. Is this war truly the will of the Apostle? That is not for me to answer, Your Majesty. Then at least tell me this. Is the Apostle safe? Excuse me. I must go. General. Well, well, well. Seems like we're not the only ones who are being a bit treasonous. Sounds to me like, uh, old Sanaki is, uh, probably locked up somewhere and not very safe whatsoever. After Alencia's meeting with Valtome, the Crimean Valtome. royal returned to the capital of Melior, leaving the border villages between Crimea and Gallia completely undefended. The Benyan Central Army crosses the border once more. But Crimea makes no move to march against it. Valtome sees this inaction as a sign of Crimea's capitulation to Benyan's demands. The Benyan forces occupy the Crimean castles and forts on the border with Gallia and prepare to launch their it's attack. It's like the one thing we asked them not to do. The Lagoos alliance finally makes its way back to Gallia, but word of Benyan's approach allows them no time for rest. The news that Gallia's ally, Crimea, has allowed Benyan to travel through its lands comes as a great blow to the Lagoon's alliance. It's not like I wanted them to go through there. Chapter 10, the heart of Crimea. I think there's 15 chapters in part 3, so we're making progress. I can check that right now, actually. According to our scouts, the enemy is split into two forces. One is east of the Earth's mountain. Right, I have to hit the A button, haha. <laughs> and the other is approaching from the north by crossing through Crimea. So, they plan on flaking Gallia from the north and east. If we don't stop them, this is gonna hurt. The agreed. What is the Crimean army doing? From, the, from what the scouts have said, nothing at all. I'm guessing they're waiting to see how everything pans out. Crimea let Benyon pass without a fight? What about their alliance with Gallia? And it's not that simple, Scrimmer. Benyon is Crimea's suzerain state. It's difficult for Crimea to refuse Benyon's demands. The Suza what? Uh, someone explain to me what that means. Uh, uh, how do I explain? Alright, how's this? Benyon still holds political power over countries that won independence from them. Uh, anything you want to add, Ike? Don't look at me. I've always thought the whole idea was ridiculous. Never mind what it means. Has Crimea broken its treaty with us? Uh, not as such. I didn't say it was right, just that it was complicated. It's not complicated at all. Crimea has betrayed Gallia. We cannot let this pass. How dare- Control yourself, Scrimmer. You're acting like a fool. 
My apologies, Your Majesty. It is just... I doubt that Crimea has sided with Benyon. Queen Alencia is very clever, and I will not stop trusting her judgment just yet. She has most likely allowed the Imperial Army to pass through her lands in order to avoid a slaughter. Who is this be your queen who warrants so much trust? Please enlighten us. She is a delightful woman, both in manner and in reign. Her late father, King Ramon, and I forged an alliance between Bjork and Laguz. We sought to bring our peoples closer. She has taken her father's ideals and her own, and as her own and strives to create a country where everyone, Bjork or Laguz, can live free and in peace. How times have changed. I never could have dreamed of a time where such a Bjork ruler would exist. I must admit, I still have doubts. I don't blame you, my brother. Change has been slow, but the circle of acceptance in Tellius has been widening. As you can see, both Leanne and I have many Bjork friends. Queen Alencia of Crimea is one of them. Both the king and Raisin speak well of this woman. Is she truly so special? She truly is, but right now that's besides the point. The most important thing is, Alencia will never betray her allies in Gallia. I couldn't agree more. We can trust her. All right. Let's assume for now that Crimea will not aid the Empire in any military fashion during this conflict. Hawk King, let's hear your thoughts. Well, if Crimea won't make a move, then I see no reason to wait till the Empire reaches Gallia. I'd prefer to take an army up north to end this mess for good. Very well. Ike, do the Grail mercenaries have anything to add? Mm, I agree with Tabarn's idea. We should strike while their army is split in half. I'm pretty sure that General Zelgus will be there, though. We'd better be careful. Very well, Hawk King. May I ask that your forces protect the eastern border? While they do that, I would like to lead our strike force to the northern border. Turk and Ulf with you as well. Send me to your majesty. Please, let me reclaim my honor. I beg you. And I second that, your majesty. Skrimmer is perfect for this mission. Renolf? Very well. You will look after him. Hawk King? Sure, I can handle him. He's easier to keep under control than you are, Lion King. Oh, hold on. Oh my god, Tketagus' voice is killing me. Hmm, he's all yours then. Now, everyone, prepare to leave before daybreak. We are all depending on you. Oh. <laughs> that was a little bit rough. Let me hydrate quickly. Oh boy. Uh, Radiant Dawn, Part 3, Chapters. There we go. Okay. Um, info. I think, I mean, <laughs> Joffrey's inventory is a little bit full. But he's, oh, right. We're back to Ike's group. All right. Well, <laughs> I'm taking a look. How many chapters are in Part 3? Uh, 14. And we're on 10. Okay. So we got four. Four chapters plus this one, so two more streams of part three. Understood. Whoop. Got it. All right, well then let's look through everyone's inventory, but I think we're all good. Shannon needs a bow. Yes. <laughs> there we go. And I think we have one in our convoy, though we may not. We don't? Cool. We got a steel sword. And that's it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. Then let's get you a bow real quick. Never mind. Can't buy a bow. Hopefully we get some money. Gift cup, please assist. Welcome back, you two. Gifka, apologies for worrying you. You persevered through many difficult battles. We're glad to have you back in one piece. Each and every soldier in the army helped me. I couldn't do anything by myself. Alone, I was powerless. That's good. If that's what you learned from this campaign, then it wasn't a wasted effort for Gallia. Good work, Renolf. Thank you, sir. Scrimmer, come here. I have something from the king. What is this? It's a Satori sign. It is said to bring out the hidden power of the Lagoos. Amazing. Here, it's yours. Renolf, you should take it. What? Why? The king said it was for you. Yes, but you've been looking after me. It's a sign of my appreciation. Scrimmer. 
Very well. Run off, this is yours to keep. Uh, all right. Uh, thank you, sir. Scrimmer, you reply to his thanks. Uh, yes. You're welcome. I am grateful for your continued support. Of course, General. I don't think, uh, I mean, we already had one of those. I don't think you're high enough of a level to use that. Also, well, we have uh, quite a lot of units, half of which I'm just never going to touch again because they're they're not great. Uh, okay. So, where are you, Renolf? Yeah, you can't even use this yet. I'm just gonna put this in uh, in here for now. Level 30 or higher. And you are level 26. Okay, you can almost use it. I think you I think you class up at level 40 anyways. How much EXP do we got? Uh not a lot. Let's take someone who's a bit of a lower level. Uh Soren? He's really the only mage I use, so I feel like that's a good idea. There we go. Keep it coming, keep it coming. As long as your magic goes up, I'm happy. And that, okay, I'm not happy. Uh, wow. Terrible level ups. <laughs> and do we have any skills we can assign? We have Wild Heart. Cuts experience points gained in half, but allows the unit to transform at any time. Right. I remember that. I was going to give it to one of the bird guys, but I don't think I will anymore. I'm gonna, just going to keep holding on to it. There we go. Let's get this chapter done. Ooh, lots of friends. Insects have been yawned. We'll show you the power of the beast tribe. Bjork scum, for, raising, for the raising of our homes, we'll make you wish you'd never been born. Filthy subhumans, this war ends now. Prepare yourselves. A Bjork army is approaching from the hill to the left. That flag, it's the Crimean army. Crimea intends to side with the Empire after all. Valencia, what are you doing? <laughs> Finally, they see us. Uh, they see the light and are coming to fight with us. Excellent. Took them long enough. I suppose when you have that brain of a gnat, uh, these things take some time to sink in. I'm Queen Alensi of Crimea. I have a message for the commanders of both armies. I'm here to declare the will of Crimea and its people. Crimea has been ruled under the ideals of peace and equality since the reign of my father, King Ramon. As such, I cannot and will not allow you to spill blood upon our land. Therefore... I demand that both the Laguz Alliance and the Imperial Army leave Crimea at once. Withdraw our troops? You foolish girl. We will not be ordered about by the proclamations of a peasant like you. Puppet rulers such as yourself should stay inside their pretty castles and play dress-up. Benyon's patience is worn out. After we finish slaughtering these subhumans, we'll be coming for you and Melior. Commander of the Laguz Alliance, how do you respond? You have some serious guts jumping into the middle of a battlefield all by yourself. But your high and money beliefs don't change the fact that Benyon must answer for its crimes. Step aside. Very well. I have heard from both commanders. Then. This is Crimea's answer. We will not sway from our ideals. My countrymen stand united. We will not use force. But we are willing to do whatever it takes to end this here and now. What? Have you lost your mind? Huh. <laughs> Ike, I thought you were the craziest Bjork I'd ever met. You have some serious competition. Crimea's queen is one tough woman. Your majesty, I like your style. Scrimmer, I can't let such a pretty, uh, yeah, okay, he did say pretty, pretty woman down. Let's get out of here. Of course, the beast tribe will not use our claws against unarmed Bjork. Soldiers, back to the forest. Thank you, King Tabarn. This is only temporary. The war between the Laguz Alliance and Bignon isn't finished yet. Yes, I understand that. Even so, I want you all to know where Crimea stands in this. Hey, you and I should get together and chat sometime. I'll be seeing you again soon. 
To Nozalgus. What are your orders? Shall we launch an attack? No, we will withdraw. Are you certain, General? Could you cast aside your weapon while surrounded by armed soldiers? I don't know, sir. Uh, no, probably not. Queen Alencia has done something that even I would be hard-pressed to do. For that, we must show our respect. Stop this instant! Wait, where do you think you're going? Attack those mangy beasts! Please forgive my audacity. However, we are withdrawing. Every battle ebbs and flows. To, to go against these tides is unwise. Please understand, Senator. You self-righteous fool! You'll understand something else once we're through with this battle. I don't want to go back yet. Do we have time to talk to Alencia? It has been a long time since we last saw Queen Alencia. We should at least say hello. Sure, sounds great to me. There's probably not much time for small talk, but we'll see. Soldiers, kill the Queen of Crimea. That girl is a traitor to Bignon. Whoa, this isn't good. The Imperial Army is on the move. And they're after Queen Alencia. So much for Imperial honor. Grail mercenaries, looks like we have our old job back. Protect Queen Alencia. I knew it. Follow me, my knights. We shall protect your majesty. <gasps> Is the old gang back together finally? Kill every living thing that stands in our way. Show them that I, no, the Senate controls this pathetic land. And of course, Senator Valtome. I'd be happy to kill the wench. Seems like the old gang is back together. Well, I mean, we don't have control over the other side of it, but at least we have some good units now. Oh boy. All right. You are all a go. Soren, Mordecai, Leith. Uh, I don't need both Leith and Renault, honestly. Uh, I'll take Boyd. And that's it. We're good. Okay, cool. <laughs> Very easy decisions for this side of the army. Oh boy. And uh, let's go. And uh, as always, uh, uh, there we go. Complimentary safe state. They are our allies. I'm going to attempt to talk to them as fast as I possibly can. Oh boy. Okay, well, I know where horror is going. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, I couldn't afford a new axe anyways, but oh boy, do I wish I could have. Ah, uh, we'll do the lance for now. There we go. And I'm pretty sure Hara can hold off most of that side of the map by himself. Uh, we can send in one more person, maybe Titania? Uh... Nah, we'll just have Harvey there. Everyone else can go somewhere else. Alright, Ike needs to go and talk to Alencia. I'll send in Gotri just to be a little bit of protection here. You have swords. Okay, noted. Uh, no one can transform just quite yet. Okay, that side is safe-ish. Got this side still. And that's pretty much everyone who is in any sort of danger area around us. I gotta wait for a lot of people to transform, though. I also want to get Soren at least one level up so he'll class change. God, are you guys waiting on the sidelines? And then Shannon will just stand by and, and su uh, provide support over here. Don't kill Alencia, please.
Okay, well, she's not fighting back yet. Hoping once we talk to her, she'll join us and then we can force her to fight back. Void is safe. Gatri will be fine. And the more people who attack her, the better. But I don't know how many that's going to be. Mm, all right, well, it's fine. I didn't even check what our objective for this chapter is. Is, is this a uh, defense mission or a route mission or uh, defeat the boss mission? I would assume defeat the boss, but I don't know. And I'm also worried that all of these guys are being controlled by very stupid AI. And that's... Oh, boy. That's going to make it harder to talk to her. Makalov, you should not be on the front line at all. Astrid, what are you doing over there? What are you doing? I'm fine if the no-name units get killed, but if any of our units get killed, I that that's a restart. Okay, well, like, half of them are now protected. Unfortunately, some of them are protected by other named units, which is not good. General Zelgus, a senator of Altomia is about to run down the Queen of Crimea. That useless parasite, attacking an unarmed woman. This is beneath even him. The Crimean army and part of the Lagoo's alliance have joined battle in order to rescue the Queen. They're fighting Senator Valtome. Should we assist a senator? Prepare to leave. We are not fighting. But, General, that would mean that we abandoned Duke Colbert's force. I will take responsibility for this. Make my command clear to all of the men. I will not accept more units joining this fight. Okay, no reinforcements, which is good. Well, no reinforcements means that it is, in fact, a route mission. For better or for worse. Is Alencia actually unarmed or just story unarmed? Oh, no, she's actually unarmed. She has nothing. Got it. With bad biorhythm too, which means if she gets a level up and she can't, uh, it's not going to be a good one. Iron bow or crossbow, it's going to be the same. It's just about whittling them down for now. You are one level away from a class up too. Alright, let's take care of these guys before I send Haru away, because I might have to have him come back and finish these guys off. Nice. Close to a level up, but still not quite yet. I think Mist might be able to... Never mind. Uh, and then you are transformed. Let's see if I can take out you with a critical hit, maybe? No? Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay. Oscar, take out Sword Guy. Good. And the level up. Uh, good. It's not bad. You can wait here. Gotri, take out this guy. Oof, only stuck with an iron lance, huh? I think I probably could have gotten you a new steel one. And you only have a steel axe. Oh, boy. It's rough, but hopefully we'll be able to last this whole chapter without running out of weapons. 
I mean, these guys should theoretically drop stuff. Ooh, he's got a Worm Slayer. Ooh, does anyone else? No, can I take him out before he can hurt me? It's very risky. I'm just gonna check how much damage everyone else does. Do quite a lot. I don't think I can just send Harin yet. I don't think these guys are gonna move yet, because they they would have went and killed Har if they could move. So that gives me a little bit of respite down on that side of things. Up here though, it's a little more dicey. I'm gonna send Har up here then. Up here with the axe. Yeah, okay. People are barely gonna hit him, and uh, he shouldn't run out of durability yet. Uh huh. Just continue to stay up there. Uh, move mist over to heal Boyd. go. I want to try to get Ike over there, but I gotta be careful about this, uh, this guy here. Let's say I just kill him? Yeah, I mean, very low chance of hitting me. Ooh, but I'm running low on durability. Hmm. Anyone got a spare sword on them? I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Anyone dropping any weapons this chapter? Doesn't look like it. I mean, you're dropping a bow. All right. Uh, God, okay. I want to take out this guy. I'll use... Uh, it hurts, but I'll use it. God, it hurts. Oh, he's still alive. All right, great. And all of you still have to keep on waiting. Could do this. There we go. Get some grass. Grassing ourselves up. You did have a beast stone. You don't anymore. And you don't either, okay. It's fine. Okay, he's retreating. Better than going and aggressing. I think most of these guys are dead. And because this is a route chapter, I'm going to turn on... Uh, turbo mode here. There we go. Just go it's gonna be a lot of people attacking and not hitting us. Do have to be careful, though. Got a critical damage for st uh, critical hit for no damage. That's impressive. All right, just none of you guys get yourself kills uh, killed, please. Get yourself kills all you want. That's fine, as long as you also survive. I want your KD ratio uh, to be anything zero. Okay, and they're coming down to assist with us. Okay, they can, for the most part, handle themselves. It's not too much of a worry, but all it takes is one wrong move on their part. Uh, I want to I wanna get to uh, Alencia, but she's really being blockaded in there. I have to wait till next turn. Let's get you over here. There we go. Ike will wait around here for now. Uh, we're also relatively... No, I'm not going to risk it. 
I, I don't want to make any safe state until the start of a turn. These two can stay point for now. We can start to disperse you guys a bit. Uh, okay. I'm gonna transform you guys now, because I don't know if we're gonna get reinforcements. Even though they said they're not gonna get any, and lo and behold, here they are. You guys are almost ready to transform. Alright, I'm hoping that Haru is just going to clear out a whole bunch of these guys before they even get to our allies. That would be the ideal outcome here. Which means it's probably not going to happen, though uh, maybe, Ao. That's going exactly how I wanted it to. Just gotta worry about his durability. If needed, I can take a lance off of somebody else and uh, instead give it to him. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get a chance to talk to Alencia. They're, they're just in a formation around her. That's fine, as long as she stays safe. That's a little excessive to take out one little mage, but you do you, Har. Okay, these guys down here, I can only hold off. I'm I'm just gonna have to have Har like take out everybody. It's fine, I can move these guys while well, these got up. Boy kinda has to stay back. He's not he's not the tankiest despite his appearances. I think maybe I should aggress down here more, too. It's dangerous, but if I want to clear out those guys without spreading hard too thin, I'm going to have to take some uh, preemptive measures here. Everyone I want safe is still safe. You two can sneak in from the back and then miss to wherever there needs to be healing. You and Rayson will go over there. That's... Okay, that's fine. They're not doing a lot of damage to me. I'm just worried that uh, they're going to gang up on me and, and get a little too close to the people who can't defend themselves. Yeah, I probably didn't need to send an Ike over there. Could have just kept Har. Why are none of you attacking that guy? Thank you. All right. Well, it was Astrid, so never mind. I rescind my thanks. Oh. Oh, look at that. We're right beside Alencia. <clears throat> Alencia. Sir Ike. I'm glad you're safe. That was one crazy move you pulled. It's what I had to do to stop the fighting. However, my efforts have failed. I could not stop them. But at least you made your point to Lagu's alliance. I'm sure there are those in the Imperial Army who understand as well. You did the right thing. You're always so kind. Thank you, Sir Ike. All right, well, we we talked. <laughs> Didn't do much, but oh well. All right, pick off these guys. Move in. We got a Worm Slayer. Got to be careful. You can transform. Perfect. I'm going to have you do that now, actually. go. Uh, it is the start of a turn. I kind of want to do kind of want to do a save here. Here we go.
And now if I do move in, what's gonna happen? Uh, it, it's definitely in my favor. Uh, it's just the magic that's the issue. Alright, what if we start with Oscar? Not good. What if we start with Titania? It's okay. But Mordecai is gonna take the least amount of damage here, so... We'll, we'll take a little bit of a risk and go for it. It's not enough to kill. It's also not enough to kill, and also a higher chance of hitting. Cool, okay. Now if I can block off this side... That would be cool. Oh, you got a pole axe. It's not good. Just a little unsure of how to effectively do that. That's... That's a little... Is that... I can't believe that I could just shove Har in there and he'll be fine. But okay. Fine. <laughs> we'll do it. At the very least, they're probably not going to hit him, even if Har doesn't kill them. It'll be a distraction. Alright, we're just gonna move this line up. We're gonna keep it where it is, but move it up forwards. There we go. That should all still be sealed off. It is. Perfect. I mean, you got a bow, which is not great for you. Aha! Uh -huh. Here we go. Now you are safe from the bow. And Mist is definitely going to need to be down here. Oof, yeah. <laughs> some, some big numbers going on over here. Okay. And Har will live this perfectly fine. In fact, he'll probably take out, if not all of them, most of them. Because he just can. Ooh! Ooh! That's not good. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I shaved the one I did. Alright, we know now. We know now. It's, it was a little too soon to send Har in. Har's gonna have to come, and he's gonna have to deal with this guy over here. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. Alright, alright. Instead of rushing in just quite yet, we're, we're gonna do something else. Nice. Is that a class up? Not yet. Okay. We're going to move in this way, with Titania not at the front. Okay, and then we get Renolf in here. And then everyone else can just stay a little bit back and will aggress instead of defending. It's fine, Har. Yeah, once again, you are completely safe to just go up and start attacking. Go for it, my friend. Live your life. It's fine. As long as no one gets crits, we'll be a-okay. Yeah, you uh, with the Worm Slayer are going straight over to Har, aren't you? Shannon is fine. That guy is annoying, though. Ooh, why are you up here already? 
Why are you going so so far up? That's not safe at all. Oh god, okay. Well, why would you do that? I was not prepared for you to do that. It's fine, we'll be fine, we'll be okay. I'm not panicking at all. Once we get past these knights, the mages are going to be just a walk in the park, really. It's too much damage than I want to take. Okay, and still a little bit too much. What about you? Oh man, no one can nicely finish him off. Alright, guess I'll do Titania. Let's move you far away and have Mist come in and heal you. There we go. And now, you guys don't have the best res. So I don't quite want to go too far that I'm going to be surrounded, but I can go in a little bit. All right. Ooh. I guess I'll start getting rid of their, their front lines. There we go. Move in there. Got a worm slayer, don't like that. But also, there's no dragons around there, so we should be fine. All right, let's go for it. Let's see what happens here. Just attack the nameless units, please. Just don't go for anyone who has a name. Let's see, why would you go there? Oh my god, you fool. That's not even like a, oh, a necessary sacrifice. That's, no, we, we lose if we let that happen. Ah. Didn't realize I was gonna have to babysit the whole time. All right, we'll do what we did again. Mordecai, and we had Renolf, and we had Gotri, who was healed up. We had you, and we had you, and you, and I put Shannon up, which we can still do, it doesn't really matter. Okay. I'm going to have to babysit, which sucks, but if I have to do it, I have to do it. It's mainly just taking out the, the bow users then, if I can. But you don't know if I can, because they're going to be locked in there pretty pretty tightly. So fine. Remember that happening. Okay, they're all going to move over here, which I think they're a little bit lower than they were before, which is good. And now I'm going to ch have to check to see where every single one of these guys can attack and make sure that Alencia is not there. Okay, Alencia is not there. Astrid is, and she's the only named unit who is. So in that case, I'm going to go see if I can rescue Astrid with Ike.
I can't. What? I can... Take out this fellow down here. But you'll save them the trouble of having to move. Uh, good luck. Thank you. Uh, okay. I'm gonna get behind and take out the bow users then. Because they're the biggest issue. Let's up over to the lance for now. Okay. Nice. It's a little worried about her, but we should be okay. <laughs> God, that's a lot of people in there. <laughs> Uh, why the interesting stream name? Oh, you know, it's because we got blue hair and we got furries. I mean, look, f furry, furry, furry. Uh, 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 blue hair, blue hair, blue hair. It's it's pretty self-evident, I would say. Blue hair and a furry. Look at that. It's the best of both worlds, or the worst of both worlds. I'm unsure which. Uh, okay. We're probably gonna be fine again, since, I mean, we're not really doing anything different from the last time we did it. As long as everybody can take out one person. Which we're doing a good job of so far. Boy, what can you do to this fellow down here? Not a lot, and you're gonna get in my way. So Soren's gonna come and take him out. Okay, bottom's fine. We just got the mages. We'll take him out. I mean, eventually. Shannon can survive another hit, but he is a little bit low on health. Just you three, huh? Okay, well, I'll move you up a bit, but not too far. I don't want you getting, I don't want you getting volleyed by light magic. Har should be absolutely fine. Oh. Okay, these guys have decided to approach me. It's a little bit of uh, worrying damage there. It's okay, we're fine, we lived. Oh, stop getting closer. You're worrying me so much. Please, just stay back. Oh my god. You're not strong enough to be doing this. Okay. Oh my god. So tense when I have no control over them. Alright, they're kind of safe. Not really. Not at all, actually. Boy, I need somebody to go and heal Har, or I can make him heal himself and not attack this turn. It's not ideal, but uh, only one who's in danger are unnamed units, and then the bow guy can attack them. But that's uh, that's it. I think we'll be fine to heal up Har. Let's equip this, heal up Har. There we go. Keep you there. And now, some of these guys should be able to take out their mages. I want to make sure whoever's going in is healed up, though. Nice. And... Okay. That's the bottom all cleared out. We can 
solely focus on the top of the map. Let's get you guys up there then. Assist her however you can, which is not much, but I mean, it's, it's better than nothing. Okay, and you're my last unit. I'm gonna come out of turbo mode because we're nearing the end of this and I'm gonna wanna pay attention to anything that's happening. There we go. Whew, okay. If everything goes good by the end of this turn, that's a good saving point. You're all nameless. I'm okay, I'm okay if you die. I would rather you not just because you're a good meat shields. But if you do, it's okay. Oh, I missed what he said, but he's moving, which is not great. Ooh, surviving, good. And you're also living, wow, you guys are really good meat shields. Now we got a full on assault on our hands. All right, one of them falls. That Wavern, or Dragon Knight, or whatever. Okay, well he's not doing anything yet. Oh, why are you attacking? It's fine, just attack the guys with the bows, nobody else. Don't attack the guys with the swords. Or the axes. Or the lances. Or the magic. Ah, uh, it's one of the guys with the axes! Stop attacking them, please! Oh, okay, as long as they're gonna be healed up, everything will be fine. Okay, that's one less for me. Still, so many of you who have to move. Okay, all right, that's fine. God, it's a good thing he has a bow. Okay. We're relatively safe. We're somehow okay. I find that hard to believe, but we're good. Okay, I want to take out the boss. And quickly, can Ike do that for me? Only with the Tard, and I don't want to use that. In that case, I'll have Har. Mm, I'll wait, because that Waven Rider is bad news. Okay, this is good, this is good. If I can have as many of you as I can come up towards Racing. He's not gonna transform, but I can have my options of who I want to move a second time. All right, you're gonna wait. Uh, Oscar, can you take out anyone? You can't, that's okay, that's fine, I guess. Olki also cannot. Well, I have to have some sort of defensive line here, so I'm going to send Olki in to go again. If I do this, are we going to be okay? Yes, they cannot hit me. Okay. 
Okay. I, th I guess I'll take out the boss then. I can't take out the boss. Interesting. Then I will whittle him down at least. And park myself right there. Some more nameless units, it's fine. Oh, you open up a path to the mage. That's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Miss, miss, good. Every, just everybody miss, everybody miss, please. Okay. <laughs> this is not, this is not great, but somehow we're still fine. My god. <laughs> Don't use it. No. Oh, how dare you. Now, no one die. Nobody do anything stupid. Only attack if it's not going to get yourself... Okay. Commander, our force is taking heavy losses. Defeat is imminent. Even our strike force cannot keep the enemy at bay. Please, you must escape. I've been defeated. Me? By worthless rabble like this? Oh, blast that Zelgius. How dare he not assist me? I'll have his pompous head for this. I wouldn't call him pompous. I feel like you're more of the pompous one. I... Why? Why? You have a sword? Okay, he had an axe. It's fine. I guess I can have a little more faith. I'm, I'm just, I'm constantly expecting somebody to get critical hitted and then die. I need to remember to breathe, though. <laughs> okay, they still have healers, that's good. These guys are almost dead. Don't think I have anything to worry about. I think I've successfully navigated this interesting chapter. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I guess Har gets the right to, to finish him off then. Uh, Senator Valtome! Oh, goodbye. <laughs> okay, perfect. Silver bow, nice. And then I think there's, what, two of you left? Yep. Uh, someone else can probably take him out easier. There we go. Last one, how about Oscar? Get you some experience. Let me go. Beautiful. Phew, Benyon's finally given up. That took some doing. Tell me about it. But we did get some good information out of all of this. Now we know for certain that there are serious leadership problems in the Imperial Army. I'm glad General Zelgus was honorable enough to withdraw. If the full strength of the two armies had clashed, Alencia's effort would have been wasted. Sir Ike, Sir Renolf, thank you for helping us to save Queen Alencia. Joffrey, I'm really surprised you let Alencia do such a dangerous thing. You must be more relaxed these days. It wasn't easy for me, as you could guess. But I can never really say no to Queen Alencia. What choice did we have, anyway? You didn't have any. All you did was what needed to be done. I'm really impressed. Crimea has become quite strong. That's a lie, Ike. Don't lie to them. <laughs> Don't talk like such a stranger. The Grail mercenaries are also from Crimea. You're part of that strength. True. I'm very proud of my homeland. Let's go see Your Majesty. You do have time to speak with her, right?
I shall now dispense punishment for disobeying my orders. General Zelgius, if you have anything to say, I would hear your pleas now. I am prepared to face the consequences of my actions. Quite an admirable sentiment, General. Although, I imagine you should have thought about the consequences before you abandoned your allies. Now, on your knees. It's time for your execution. Goodbye, General Zelgius. What? Senator, I must ask you to reconsider. To execute a man of General Zelgius' caliber without a trial. It's madness. It's horrible. Lavelle, are you questioning a senator? A senator holds the right to punish a prisoner however he sees fit. Oh, I'll make sure to tell our people that the general was cut down in battle after felling hundreds of subhumans. That way, people will not trouble themselves over details that they could not possibly understand. You would bury the truth? Do you think the Apostle is as easily fooled by your lies? Oh, I sincerely doubt the Apostle will ever get to hear them. Alright, I've waited long enough. Your wait is over as well, Zelgius. Execute him. Don't worry, Zelgius. I'll make sure that your lands are looked after. They'll be mine, of course. <laughs> uh, 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 huh? What? Silence, Veltome. All soldiers loyal to Ben Yon are to stand down immediately. I don't know who's talking. This is a mysterious voice from the ether. Ah, it's a one of the Pegasus sisters. Not sisters. Knights. Hello, Senator Valtome. You! You're one of the Holy Guards! The Apostle will be here shortly. Soldiers, sheathe your weapons and kneel before the Apostle. Uh, what? No, it's impossible. Uh, it's her. There's no doubt about it. It's the Apostle. The Apostle is here. My soldiers, I apologize for my sudden disappearance. I am here today to explain things, and to bring you news from home that is of the utmost importance. My soldiers, listen to me carefully. I never wished for this war. It was started by those who wanted me dead. It was spurred on by their desire to rule Bignon for themselves. This war was the work of the Senate, and was organized by Vice Minister Lacane of Gado. Uh, the Senate was charm upon the Apostle? No, impossible. How could that be? Uh, lies. She lies. Do not be tricked, proud soldiers of Bignon. She is not the true apostle. Huh, I see. Then we are not the real royal guards? Is that what you are trying to say? Uh, no. This is a farce. You cannot trick us. You were using a fake apostle to, dis uh, to disable the Senate and take over Bignon. Uh, men, we must act. That Viosephrin is their leader. Uh, the fact that he's been put here and uh, put in chains is our proof. <laughs> I will not allow you to disgrace my master's good name. One more syllable and I shall snap your neck, Valtome. Uh, uh, that's two syllables. Apostle, words cannot express how good it is to see you alive and well. We've been waiting your return. Thank you, General Zelgius. You and I have much to discuss. Oh, well, it seems like things are going to be put a little bit back into order over in Mignon. I, however, am going to leave it here. We got about two more chapters of part three. Then I'm going to take a break from Fire Emblem and then uh, we'll be back for part four to finish it off. Uh, let's see here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Nice save game. Pause. No spoilers. Cool. Okay. Um, in that case, I am going to go over here and then I'm going to look for somebody to raid. Bada bing, bada boom. You can close. There we go. Turning off my legitimate Wii U game console. And uh, I will be back on. What is it? Is it Wednesday today? I'll be back on Friday. Or is today? What day is it today? Is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday. I'll be back on Friday. Okay. Um, I'm going to start the raid, and for now, stay safe, have fun, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.